Welcome viewers to Boyle Sammy's TV. I'll be your host for today. My name is Grace Godwin, and we are here live at Federal University Lokoja, Kogi State. While we're we'll asking some students on how they feel about the examination tension, like how they're coping and the result that is about to be released today. Trust me, it's not funny. You have not seen your result and you're preparing for another exam. Well, I know how it feels like that tension thing, you know. So let's take a walk to meet some students to ask them how they feel about it. Thank you. Good morning. So, what's the name? Mukhtar. Okay. How do you cope with the examination tension and the result that is about to be released today? Okay. The examination tension. It's, yes. It's quite like it's like a shadow to every every student in school. Okay. You want to read and sit for your exams and be sure you are actually getting the right thing as you're reading. And the result that has not been posted. Okay. The results. The Senate have been delegating it for like quite some time. They will tell us they are pasting it tomorrow, next tomorrow, next week. And yesterday I heard it was going to be pasted today. And we've been waiting for the results and we've not seen anything. I also heard this morning that the Senate are still delegating on it. So I don't actually know. For a student to know his or her results, it's quite cool because they will have to like sit properly and read, engage themselves in any reading activities to actually boost their stamina in the exams and their GP as well. So it's quite unfortunate that we've not seen our results at this moment. So we just want them to paste it now so that we can get a good result and know what we can do before the exam comes. So that's just it. All right, could really. So are you tense now? No, I'm not. So like, what are you expecting and to get? Funny enough, I I can actually grade myself. I'll have to see it first, but. To me, I might just say a two-one because I kind of like joined the department quite late, so okay. that would be like okay for me. A two-one might be cool. Okay, so, thank you very much. Nice talking to you. Me too. Right. How do you cope with the examination tension and the result that is about to be released today? So how we trying to cope with the examination tension is not by uh, by the uh, result tension. It's not by thinking too much about the result because I feel like last semester I put in a lot of effort. Uh, into studying before the exam. So I feel like the result is going to be okay. I'm an optimist, so I don't feel like I should be tensed. If I'm tensed, it will change the result anyway, and it will only make me um, feel bad and less prepared about the upcoming exam. So I feel like the last semester exam is gone, is passed, so the next focus is the um, coming exam. So like right now, you're not tensed at all? No, I'm not tensed. Okay, nice talking to you. Thank you very much. Are you coping with your exam tension and the result is about to be released soon? They've been putting us on hold this week, next week, and all that. We're tired of waiting. And they will see it. That will be it. Okay, so are you coping with the re exam? I'm trying to prepare ahead and all that to do better than I did last semester. So you're not tense at all? I'm not. All right. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. So how are you coping with the examination tension and the result that is about to be released? Okay. The results have been held for too long and I think it should be released like this week because we're about to start another exam and we need to know our fate in the first one. So that's what I think should be released on time. Do you need to know your fate before you prepare for the next exam? No, it's not that. I'll prepare for the next exam but okay. we need to know where we stand at first. Like the first semester results, then we know our fate. So how prepared semester. are you for this re exam? Well, we are reading. We are reading. Are you sure you are reading? Because it doesn't look as if you are reading. I'm reading. Like we are reading. <laughs> okay. So process. what are you expecting for the outcoming results? For the outcoming results, I maybe I'm re I'm expecting average. I'll be average. Like how many for like four points? Say three points. Three points. Okay. Nice talking to you. Thank Bye. You. So how are you coping with the examination tension and the result that is about to be released? Exam tension, I don't really have tension concerning this exam because there's enough time. Okay, because there's enough time to my exam because I'm starting September in the okay. hundred level. So um, the results, uh, by now uh, we're supposed to have seen our results, but I don't know what is delaying it. At least when we see these results, we'll know how to prepare more for our exams. So I really think the results should be out before 
the exam period. So you like you have to see a result before you pay for your next exam. Is that no, what you're trying not, to say? Not like that. Like okay. there is an extent you prepare, you are relaxed. Okay, right now we are actually relaxed. But okay. we are reading. We are reading. But we are actually not in this um how life put it. We are not tense like man, I need to add more more um time more okay. strength to this reading stuff at least i'm still playing around <laughs> but when i see my <laughs> result really? and i see any comma in it hey, i'll know how to to buckle up and fire up for so do you think there's one cause that you, you're going to fail or what i don't like i said i don't have tension <laughs> um you're I'm, a bit relaxed yes i'm a bit relaxed that is why i want to see the results so what I'm are you just, expecting for this semester um, due to what I wrote in my last exam, I shouldn't be expecting anything less than three points, at least second class. So you don't expect it first, as like first class? No, no, no. I know what I wrote. That's why I want to buckle up this semester <laughs> to write first class next, this semester, yes. Okay, yeah. well. Mm -hmm. And I also learned that uh, the Miss Big Bold and Beautiful. Yes, FL Miss Big Bold and Beautiful. <laughs> wow, well, so is it like winning the Miss Big Bold and Beautiful? Um, it's awesome it's great like I, I i was so happy because in the university environment they don't really recognize the the big girls they only see this the, the skinny ones let me let me use that <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> the skinny ones as the one ruling but uh, when i heard about the um bbb stuff i had to like oh yes i'm going for this to, so that i can give i'm the, trying to see if yes, you're really i'm big are you saying yes yes, yes. Oh, no, you she's big it. and she's yes. proud of it i showed them on the stage that i could actually carry myself even better than the the, the, the skinny ones i know yes. you're funny thank you very much nice talking <laughs> to you. you all right, all right take care okay, bye wow 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 it was very very interesting you're talking to these great people and i also learned a lot from this i hope you also learn from me so i'll be coming your way next time i see you in your favorite guests Grace for Grace, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I love you all. Awesome.